before I was in Move to Prosper, I was in, I would just say, a very dark and negative space, uh, both mentally and physically. I was living in a neighborhood that today, if you asked me to drive through, I probably just wouldn't. Um, it wasn't some place that I wanted to live, but there was just a situation where you don't have good credit, you don't have enough money, this is what you this is what you get so you accept it walking to the trash can one day um i saw drugs on the ground right before i got accepted to move to prosper i remember it being summer my kids were away i look out my front window and i see police cars i see caution tape i see markers on the ground i see an abandoned car it's stuff that you only see on tv someone was shot someone was shot and killed right in front of my window the same way my kids walk to and from school every single day. Even I get emotional thinking about it. Every day it was just fear and just anxiety. So I found out about Move to Prosper from my boss at the time, uh, Brian Butler. He owns Dublin Cleaners and uh, he knew a little about my situation and he told me, he said, you should apply for this. And I just thought like, this is incredible. Like things like this actually exist. I have a full-time job and a part-time job. <laughs> I got hired by the state, so I work for uh, disability determination for the Social Security Administration. So I just uh, adjudicate disability claims, which I didn't think I would like, but I love it. Atmosphere Candles, the initial concept, my actual plan was to create good quality candles at a cheaper price. So before I even did anything with my candles, I did research. Once I had the candles figured out and my final product, it just made logical sense to make lip balm, uh, very similar to candles. You still have some of the same ingredients. These are the ingredients for my typical lip balm recipe. All I do is mix all these ingredients together in a double boiler. And it also doesn't take up much space. It works for <laughs> where I live. I didn't know um, a lot of people who own businesses. My father actually used to own a bar and he used to own a lot of property, but um, he ended up losing all of it when the steel mills closed up. So he never talked about it. In my late twenties, um, I attempted to start a business but it was more um, like perfume. I was blending different fragrances. So I, I played around with fragrances back then. Fear creeps in and fear can be crippling because you know, you're afraid to put in this money or what if this doesn't work? And then sometimes you don't have the support. Sometimes you have people telling you, ah, that's not a good idea. Maybe you shouldn't do it. My coach um, is there for me just to talk things through. Sometimes, you know, you make decisions out of emotion but she's that that anchor that kind of reeled me back in and says okay maybe you should stop and think about this <laughs> why don't you try xyz the difference is with the candle business is that i was just in a really good frame of mind i was just in a good stable space and i just felt comfortable and i didn't tell anybody about it i just kind of did it and i was like if it works it works but if it doesn't no worries and I just gave it a shot. I have a 13 year old and a 15 year old. My older daughter is involved in Atmosphere Candles. Um, she does a lot of the design. So my first label, my older daughter actually made for me. They've also been very patient with me with social media, teaching me <laughs> what I need to do for social media. My younger daughter, she loves measuring out the wax and uh, just chopping it up. I'm excited about the end of Move to Prosper. Financially, I'm, I'm fine. I've been able to almost double my earnings since coming into this program. I'm financially stable. I have a savings. Um, I've rebuilt my credit. Um, I was able to improve my credit by over 100 points just on my own. My older daughter is actually taking um, college classes. She's in a French club, she's in a community service club, she's in the National Honor Society, and then my younger daughter is like the musical one. After graduation in May for Move to Prosper, more than likely I'll stay in the, in the area. My daughters, you know, they'll both be in high school next year. They're at an important time, so I don't want to make any big changes.